Christ Restoration Bible Church International is commissioned by God to preach the gospel of salvation and restoration to all the nations of the world. Briefly, we are going to be taking the word and the message for today which I title A New Season of Wonders and Solutions. A New Season of Wonders and Solutions. This is the season. My brother, my sister, this is a new season of wonders and solutions. It means that solution is waiting for you. Anywhere you go, from now, the Lord has prepared his angels to give you solution. So therefore, go with your solution as we enter the year 2024. Solution is your second name because God said you are the solution of your world. Today, get ready to receive that impartation in Jesus' name. And this year, there is going to be a new season of amazing, wondrous things and solution. It's going to be happening life this very year, 2024. Anywhere you go, that solution is waiting for you. If you cannot see it, but I can see it already. I say I can see it already. Oh, okay. Now, open your book to Habakkuk. Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 5. Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 5. The Lord replied, look around at the nations. Look and be amazed. For I am doing something in your own day. Something you would not believe even if someone told you about it. Wow. wow. <laughs> Can we have it on the screen? Look at this. Behold ye among another translation and regard marvelously for I will walk a walk in your days which you will not believe though it be told you you will not believe it eye has not seen ear has not heard of that marvelous thing that wondrous thing that the Lord has prepared for somebody it's like you are still feeling about last year. You can't do the same thing and expect different results. The Lord said, I should tell you. <laughs> the solution you are looking for, 2023, even 2022. But that solution is the one waiting for you now. You were looking for it. 2022. 2023, you were looking for it. But now, 2024, the solution is waiting for you. Amen, Amen is your connection. You see, boldness you receive is what gives you that solution we are talking about. Hebrew chapter 11 verse 1 says, the thing when you never see but you believe it. That is what we are talking about. I have already said, in fact, today is seventh, is it true? Yes, seventh is prophetic. Yes, yes, Something yes, dangerous is about to happen to somebody. Yes. Why well, he don't understand. <laughs> because our God is a God of consuming fire. When he declared it, it come to pass. Even when the witches and wizards said, No, who is witches and wizards? When the Lord said, Go, they go with the darkness of the world. But the light has come. This is the great light. Who controls the great light? Jesus Christ. He came just for that. John 3 16 said, For God so loved you and me, He gave us that. That whosoever is connected to. Shall what? This year, my beloved one, I want to submit to you. 
he that is not connected to the true vine can never bear fruit and that true vine is jesus christ and he's calling you now he's telling you connect to me connect to me connect to me so that you can be fruitful it's not about the fruit the fruit is always there if god open your spiritual eye you will see in this altar they already ripe fruit waiting for you to command it to come the bible say in romans chapter 8 verse 1 said there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in christ jesus not because you are there because you don't walk by the flesh but you walk by the spirit and when the spirit leads you you are very close to god for god always walk with those who are in the spirit even as you are in this service now if you are not in the spirit it is difficult for you to receive from god god needs you throughout the year it's going to be an awesome moment joy chapter 2 joy chapter 2 can we have it on the screen let's start from verse 23 joy chapter 2 let's start from verse 23 you need to get get this clear you can't get the best from anywhere except christ give to you hello you cannot get the best from anywhere except from our lord jesus who died for you when the lord give it to you no one can take it from you it may delay but it is your time your new season has come your new season has come please can you read for me joy 2 23 in the what in the what 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 are we now he said that rain has already started wow <laughs> forget about the former rain this is a new rain this is a new year this is a new season a new assignment and something is about to happen people who said a lot of things last year this year they will know the god that you serve you are the one that will make it happen you will consistently connect to him without disconnection this is what we bring that testimony we bring that solution god say go further go further verse verse 24 are we still there verse 24 let's read to 26 let read together and the floor shall be full of wheat and the fat shall overflow with wine and oil Then verse 25. And I will restore to you the yes that the locust has eaten, the cacaworm and the caterpillar, and the power of my great army, which I send among you. The last verse 26. And you shall what? Eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God that had dead wondrously i can't say that wondrously with you and my people shall never be the shame this is the god that we, all your things has already been taken over by god you see it's the year of wonder do you see it there do you see there in the last part this is the god that have dealt with you wondrously it means everything now wonder 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 you just be saying it this person this i have been heard you know what is bringing this stagnation tell somebody check your heart god say i should tell many of you the reason why you could not receive that in last year is because of you 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 yourself you your heart your heart 
Your heart must be checked this year. Whether you like it or not. Check your heart. The Bible says, examine yourself. Whether you are seeing what? If you don't have the faith, you cannot receive. Grace has been released. But that grace, that grace will take you to your testimony ground if you apply faith. If you don't apply faith, the grace can be there. It will not work for you. You keep on struggling. Struggling. I can do it myself. Today, you want to hold it, it turns to the other side. This is a snake. You want to kill the snake, it turns to the other side with the head. Who can see the head of snake and still be standing? You are running on the opposite side. And this is the way you ought to go. But because of fear, you have taken the opposite direction. But this year 2024 anywhere the enemy have driven you to anywhere they have helped you captive any wrong way any wrong position the way wrong way you have taken before this year 2024 you are coming out to the right road i can hear you you are coming out to the right road you are coming out to the right road you are coming out taking the right road any wrong way any hardness that you have faced last year but this year i see the lord holding your hand i see the lord running with you and the speed was so fast that no devil can hinder it in your family i see that speed going because the lord has said so tell somebody the lord has said so no man can change it Acts chapter 3 Acts chapter 3 are we there the book of Acts chapter 3. Let's go. The book of Acts chapter 3. Verse 8 to 10. Let's read together. That it was he which said for arms and the beautiful gates of the temple. And they stay. The man at the beautiful gate is. That is the man they are describing there. He was there in the beautiful gate. But nothing was beautiful in his life. And he was leaping. He said he was leaping. And people could recognize that this is the man that he used to beg. That is how people will be describing you this year. Oh, have this God that will never fail. Oh. When you call upon him, he respond to you. My friend, don't look at that problem. Tell somebody, don't look at that problem. Don't look at the, look at the solution. Look at the because solution. this is a year of solution. Forget for about solution. the problem. Look at the solution. Amen. Because the solution giver is in your life. Amen. Wow. Hallelujah. Jesus is the solution giver. Amen. It's in you. It's in you. Look at him. And that man look at Jesus. He look at Jesus. His own is to beg substance. But Jesus gave him what is more than the substance. Amen. His life became beautiful. Amen. Like the beautiful gate. Amen. How many years he has been there? The place was beautiful, but his life was not beautiful. He was there for many years. But when Jesus located him, his life became beautiful. Amen. Your life is going to be transformed this year. Amen. 2024. People who have been castigating you, people who have been oppressing you, people who have been telling you story, they are laughing you, giving you a name that is not your name. This year, 2024, you are going to have a new name. This is your original name Amen. that the Lord has given to you. Amen. The original name is this name that you have been waiting for. Amen. That is why it's coming 2024. Amen. And as you connect to this, my God, Amen. this God of restoration, Amen. He will restore to you Amen. and no devil can hold it Amen. in your business he will destroy it in your family he will destroy it in your loyalty he will destroy it that tree that do not allow people to move forward I stand in this exalted altar I declare to those power those power holding what belongs to you in your family those power that say you will not get married those power that say you will not prosper those power that say no for you in this year 2024 I stand this is yes, I declare we are pulling them down. Hey, hey.
I say we are willing to die. Amen. Because your new season has come. Amen. Your new season is now. Amen. Your life must be beautiful. Amen. From now, expect it. Expect it. It's now. I don't just want to tell you so that you can be happy. It has already been settled. Amen. The Lord gave to the prophetess and I. He said it shall be a year for your children, Amen. for your baby, Amen. for your daughters, Amen. for your sons. Amen. It shall be a year of wonder. Amen. It shall be a year of wonder. Amen. And it shall be a year that wondrous thing will be happening. Wondrous will turn to the right. Wondrous Amen. thing is happening. You turn to the left. Wondrous thing is happening Amen. because the solution is now. Amen. The solution has come to Amen. say Amen. the solution will never leave my hand. Amen. Say to yourself, solution will never leave my hand. Solution will never leave. Never my leave. leave. Solution I hold on to this solution. Amen. Stretch your right hand. Stretch your right hand. Yes, Lord. Stretch your right hand to the altar. Take the solution. Let us see. And one will take that solution from your hand. Amen. Today I declare as we raise my our right hand. The right Lord, I take God my solution. Power. I take my solution now. I, 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 I take my solution. I hold on to my solution. solution now. My solution my that solution I have solution taken. Take it back. No man will take it from no me. Man will take it from, from me. now, the that solution follows me. To the north, I go. To the south, I go. Everywhere I go, I go. Everywhere I go, I go. To the north, I go. To the south, I go. Everywhere I go, this solution will follow me. Because the Lord said, It is my year of wonder and solution. Solution. Oh, solution around me, solution around my family, solution around my, family. Solution around my church, solution around my, solution around my neighbor. Solution around because my neighbor. the Lord has said it, yes, and it Lord. shall come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> you have fought battles. Enough is enough. The battle every moment. Is that how you are going to fight the battle again this year? God said no. It shall be celebration. Amen. And your enemy will be the one that will pack up permanently. Amen. Permanently. Amen. We pack up. What do I do to receive wonders and solutions? Mm. I'm gonna be you no, know, we're gonna be doing that all the year, but I'm gonna give you full pen today. What will I do to receive this wonders and solution in my life? Because it's a new dawn. Yeah. Number one, forget about last year mistakes. You call it mistake? It's never a mistake. It was meant for a reason. It's part of the process and packaging. And it's the ladder you will take to the top. Call it mistake. It wasn't a mistake. It was meant to teach you so that you can learn. And improve on it. Your purpose will not be cut short. Amen. I say your purpose will not be cut short. Amen. Isaiah 43. Let's go to the book of Isaiah 43. Look at what it said. Isaiah 43, verse 18. Let's start 18 and 19. Forget what happened before and do not think about the past. Look at the new things I am going to do. Amen. <laughs> It is already happening. Do not, do, don't you see? Are you not seeing it? I will make a road even in the wilderness. Amen. Read your, read your, your own version of it. Amen. He said, "Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? When it come, you will know it. I will even make a way. Yeah." In the, in the wilderness where there seemed to be no way he will amen. make a way for you amen you have been hearing this over and over but this year is going to be different amen we need going to be different yes because you are going to take a different approach you can't be doing the same thing and you expect different result no this year i am already seeing it he said are you not already seeing it I am going to do a new thing. It is already happening to you. Amen. And very soon it will manifest. Amen. So if you have been there, you are not responding to this prayer. You are missing a lot. Prayer is the key. This year, we call for prayer. You are not there. You are struggling. What will I eat? 
this food will not take you to heaven. The car you want to buy will not take you to heaven. Neither with the, the latest clothes, the latest shoes take you to heaven. You may buy them, but the day you will die, those things, will, if you like, they will bury it with you. But there is also the uh, vanity upon vanity. But whatever you sow, that is the time you begin to reap them. I will sow to heaven all the days of my life. That is my covenant. I don't know about you. I'm going not to sow to heaven. If you sow fleshly, you will reap in the flesh. But you must sow divinely so you can reap in heaven. Number two things. I said number one, you must forget about the past. You call it mystic. Forget about the past. What happened last year? Don't try to paint the story. Don't try to narrate everything. You see, last year, this is how I did it. And I followed this person and I failed. This and that. Forget about that story. That story is not needed. They are not mystic. This year, those story of yesterday will help you. Then number two, be focused this year. Be focused. Last year, you were distracted so many times. We call for prayer, you are not there. And you think you can do it yourself, you cannot do it yourself. So the spirit drive the physical. Allow the spirit to drive you this year. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14 said, Without holiness. You must follow peace with all men. And without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. And that is why, this very month we say is the law, love and consecration. You must love your neighbor. Don't pretend. If you don't love the man you see, how will you say you love God? You have not seen God. You say, I love God. But you didn't love the man that you see around you. Love is the reason why we are existing to show that love. Life and death is what? 1821. It's in your tongue. Every day you speak. Anyhow. No control. No control. That is what I've kept you. 2023. If you don't forgive your neighbor. God will not forgive you. Am I the one saying it? It's in the Bible. You have to change this year. Be focused. Proverbs 4 23. I'm not the one saying it's in the Bible. Proverbs 4, chapter 4, verse 25. It said, Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. God. <laughs> Have you seen that before? Philippians 4 8. It said, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble whatever is right whatever is pure whatever is lovely whatever is admirable if anything is excellent or praiseworthy think about such things and do it am I speaking to someone this is not the time to shake to nod your head hear this one we are just starting this is the time to plan. What am I going to do this year? This is the time to plan. Don't live the way you, you lived last year. Aimlessly. As if you have no God. This year, plan with God. Tell somebody, this year, my brother, plan with God. Oh. Number three, be heavenly minded. The things of the spirit take it serious this year. Hello? Take the things of God serious this year. You rush, go out every day. You rush, go out. That is why there is no productivity. Taking over the new day. That must continue this year. Last year you missed it. You were weak. Because they wanted to to take it from you. And they defeated you. And that is why you said last year was terrible. But this year, get ready. I say get ready. Be strong. 
be imparted with the grace to receive from him. And that grace is the grace that Jesus has given to us. Amen. In Colossians 3, 2. Colossians chapter 3. Colossians chapter 3, verse 2. Let's read together. Set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. Am I the one saying it? No. So, be heavily minded this year. I am sounding it once again. Because the spiritual is the one that drives. Serve God with all your heart this year like never before. No partial fulfillment. Obey God in full. Even in your finances. Everybody always talk about finances. If you obey God full, that your finances this year, oh, he's going to pick up. Man. No one put his or her own business in the hand of God. God will never allow that business to dry. Partial fulfillment is the reason why we are losing. There must be a demand before supply. So place your demand in this very month of January. How many of you? Place your demand in this month of January. Hebrews chapter 12, 1 or 2. Hebrews chapter 12, 1 or 2. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of weakness, let us throw off everything that hinders the sin that so easily entangled you. That thing that always entangled you. Take it away. Take it away. That addiction, take it away. God is denying you of that breakthrough because of your addiction. Isaiah chapter 55. I say because the Lord has glorified you. Amen. You call upon nation, they will respond to you. You call upon your business, your business will respond to you. Anything that has been disobeying you, this this year they will obey you amen i said they will obey you amen in the mighty name of jesus christ amen wherever they are whosoever is hearing me you gate of 2024 open for my children amen open amen. for anyone that is hearing me amen that gate that doors they must remain open for you in this year 2024 amen in the name of jesus because the king of glories want to come in. I said the king of glory want to come in. And the Lord will study you. In Amen. the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In this year 2024. In this year 2024. My hands are blessed. My hands are blessed. And I shall not labor in vain. I shall not labor in vain. I refuse to be idle this year. I refuse to be idle this year. I refuse to be stagnant this year. I refuse to be stagnant this year. Speak to your hand now. Speak to your hand. Oh, you Speak to your hand. Bless this year. I refuse to be idle. Oh, my hands are blessed. I refuse to complain. I refuse to complain. I refuse to live a wasted life. A wasted life. And my labor will yield harvest. My labor will yield harvest. My labor will be fruitful. My labor will be fruitful. Harvest in the morning. Harvest in the morning. Harvest in the afternoon. Harvest in the, afternoon. Harvest in the night. Harvest in the night. Throughout the year 2024. A harvest shall come to me. Amen. A harvest shall come to me. Amen. Receive the harvest. Amen. Oh, you gates and doors, open for my people. The joy shall be restored with the miraculous word. These of services are Sunday 8 a.m., Tuesday, Wednesday 5 p.m., and Friday 6 p.m. at CRBCI Way, Dawaki Extension, opposite Guarimpa, Abuja. For more information, please call plus 234 809 6287 452. Plus 234-817-1534-324. Our social media handles are www.twitter.com slash restoration tv1 www.facebook.com slash restoration tv www.youtube.com slash restoration tv www.instagram.com slash prophet ib www.instagram.com slash prophetess faith ib looking forward to seeing you remain blessed